Hello, my beautiful, darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel. And then I have my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links to those are all in the description box below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away two five-question readings, so hashtag um, reading to enter for that, and then I give away three $50 prizes. Um, and guys, what that means is I actually send you the $50. A couple of people were confused about that, so I actually give away $50 to you. So um, to enter to win that, you just have to post a positive affirmation in the comment section below with a green heart okay don't forget the green heart if you would like to book a reading with me the link is below um readings are 20 percent off if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks i do have spirit shield tarot and oracle that is buy one get one free and then i have royal rose tarot which is currently 20 percent off and i also have mystery crystal boxes um so uh, the links for all of those are below, okay? What are we grateful for today, my loves? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family, my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, my loves, let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies, please. Tell me about my cancer babies, okay? All right, so Cancer, there is someone in your energy, and guys, this particular reading may not pertain just to love. Let me know in the comments if you guys could hear me better. I picked up the volume on my mic. I don't know, guys. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. I feel like I'm deep-throating this thing and it's still a problem, so hopefully the sound is better today. But anyways, so I feel like this particular reading, Cancer, can pertain to a friend, family member, a work situation or even love, okay? You take it as it resonates. I feel, Cancer, that the person on this side sees you growing in some way, shape, or form. They see your life transforming. They see growth. They see change. Um, they see you morphing into something amazing, and they're jealous. This person is jealous. You could be separating from a situation. Uh, so let's just say you're leaving an ex behind. You're having a glow up. Or let's just say uh, in work, maybe you got promoted and you're leaving some coworkers behind. You don't have the time to, you know, stand by the water cooler and gossip anymore. You know what I'm saying? You've got more responsibilities now. Um, there's something happening in your life where things are changing. You're flourishing, Cancer. And there's someone here that is extremely jealous that you, they cannot go where you're going. You, you, you're separating from this person, whether it's intentionally or not intentionally. You know, sometimes things happen in our life, Cancer, where you know, let's say, you know, you have a friend group and you and this friend group, you're together all the time. You guys are all single and then cancer, you get into a relationship and now a lot of your time is consumed with your love partner. Okay. Or let's just say, you know, you started your own business and you don't have time for friends or family or, you know, even your romantic partner. It's kind of like your life is ascending. Something big is about to change for you and you don't have a lot of time for somebody or you know, these people just cannot go where you're going. Okay. Um, so there's some resentment because of that. Apparently tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Oh gosh. Okay. We've got the 10 of cups and we have the hermit Virgo energy here. We have the Ace of Wands, and we've got the Ace of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Wands. The Six of Pentacles and the Death card, Scorpio energy here. <clears throat> Cancer, I feel that some of you have been in hermit mode, okay? Staying to yourself, analyzing your life, figuring out what needs to change. You want to be happy. 
whether that's in love, money, life, whatever the case may be, you want a 10 of cups situation for yourself. You want to emotionally fulfill yourself is what I'm kind of getting here. You don't want to rely on other people for happiness, for finances, for anything. And I think that you took a big step back and you started to analyze and do that soul searching and really focusing on what you need to change in your life to be a better person, to align yourself, to receive the things that you want to receive. And then you took action. You see what I'm saying? You didn't just sit around eating your Cheetos or your Oreos or your Takis and, and think about it. You know what I'm saying? No, you thought about it for a little while, analyzed like you took your whole life and said, this needs to change. That needs to change. I need to start eating healthier. I need to have a work-life balance. I need to start cleaning my house more. I need to set up a schedule. I need to organize. I need to, you know, you really started to like, you know, go through your life and figure out what it is that you want to change and see improve in your life. And then you took it, you executed your, your plans. And with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, Cancer, this could be a new job, a new career, a new business. This could be uh, you uh, being just be passionate about this new beginning. Like you, you, you said, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm setting these goals for myself, and I'm going to execute it with that Ace of Swords energy. Now, the Ace of Swords is also victory. It's also success. So whatever you're setting your mind to, whatever you're touching here, whatever you're doing is turning to gold. If you got on a fitness regimen where you want to eat right and go to the gym, it, it's it's working. Okay. Um, if you want to open a business or change career or whatever it is that you're doing here, cancer, it's going to, <clears throat> sorry guys, my allergies are on one, but it's going to be very successful. And with the five of pentacles and the seven of wands, this is an energy of, I don't got time for nobody. I'm sorry. I can't speak right now. I can't talk right now. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I can't go out tonight. I can't do this. I can't do that. I don't have time to talk right now. I got to go. You see what I'm saying, Cancer? So there, there's an energy of you have someone here that's feeling left behind. You've got someone here that's feeling like they're out in the cold. This person feels that you're just pushing them to the side and going on and living your best life. The Six of Pentacles can talk about breadcrumbing one situation and giving to another. So Cancer, you're no longer focused on giving your love, time, energy, money to people, places, and things that are not going to bear any good fruit tomorrow. You're, you're focused on things that are going to, you know how you reap what you sow? You're focusing your time and energy on things that are going to be prosperous. With the death card, Cancer, and the oracle card transformation here, you're going through some type of metamorphosis here. You're going through some type of regeneration process here. You are changing the way you think. You're changing the way you act because you're getting really, really serious on what you want for your life, okay? Tell me about this. Her Look, this is you, Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy right here on top of this hermit. This is you, okay? This is you. With the Emperor here, the Six of Wands on top of the Ten of Cups, Cancer, this is you taking control of your life. This is you saying, I want victory. I want success. I'm going to conquer my demons. I'm going to conquer my bad addictions. I'm going to conquer my negative behavior. I'm going to conquer whatever is in my life that is holding me back. And baby, you're doing it with that six of wands energy. You have both of the victory cards here um, on the on the table. The, the ace of wands, the six of wands, these are cards of victory. This is you stepping up to the plate and understanding that the only person that can change your life is you. This is you taking control of your thoughts. This is you coming out of the energy of, oh, you know, someone is putting evil eye on me. Someone is jinxing me. Someone is hexing me. Fuck those people. Fuck them. Fuck them. Okay. Oh, another thing I, I can't say, we're just going to stop the reading for one second because I got a piece of information last night that I want to share with you because I found it to be very interesting. So for those of you who watch me, you already know that I'm not like uh, super big on return to sender spells, right? 
So this person said, be careful when you do return to sender spells, because we like to sit in an energy where we complain about ourselves and we wish bad on ourselves. When you look at your in self in the mirror and you have bad things to say, when you say, oh, I'm broken, oh, I'm this and oh, I'm that, you're wishing bad on your life. And if you do a return to sender spell, you could be sending bad, you, you could be sending magic to yourself. Because many times our life is in shambles because of our words and our thoughts. So you have to be careful doing a return to sender spell because you could be sending that shit back to yourself. You could be, you could be hurting your own life. You see what I'm saying? So be careful with that. I found that very interesting, but cancer, this is you taking control of your life. Okay. This is you taking control. Tell me about the ace of wands here and the six of cups. Tell me about the ace of swords here and the eight of wands. So while you're trying to achieve this new thing that you're doing, you have X's friends, family members that want to talk to you. One way you'll know if this reading resonates with you is that as soon as you set off on this new journey, your phone is blowing up. All of a sudden, everybody wants to go out. Everybody wants to talk to you all day long. Everyone is texting, video chatting, like, oh my God, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People want to talk to you all of a sudden. Everybody wants your attention. You got exes coming out of the woodwork. You got family members that you haven't heard from in the past 13 years coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, you know, because cancer, you have to understand something. There's a saying that goes, when you're going the wrong way, the devil doesn't bother you. It's when you're going the right way that you're going to start to experience all these weird distractions. Okay. And that's what's happening. Distractions. Okay. And, and you're going to, that's one way you're going to know if this is, you know, you're reading, okay, with the Ten of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles. And keep in mind, guys, this may not resonate in the moment. This is something that could be happening in the near future. Um, with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles here, Cancer, I feel like you are not going to be distracted. You are building a solid foundation for yourself. You are staying true to the goals that you are setting. You have put a vision board up. You have done your journal manifestations. You're getting serious about showing gratitude every day, doing your affirmations every day. You're getting Getting serious about changing yourself from the inside out and transforming your life. It, it's an energy of I'm not happy where I am anymore. I'm not happy with what I'm eating. I'm not happy with how my body looks. I'm not happy with the romantic partners that I choose. I'm not happy with being depressed all the time. I'm not happy with not having joy in my life. I'm not happy being broke. I'm not happy being desolate. I'm not happy and I want to change. I'm going to cut, you know, think outside of the box and I'm going to change my life. And you know, you're serious about it with that three of pentacles energy and with the tennis swords, people may be dropping out of your life, Cancer. People may be dropping out of your life. You're coming into a nine of cups and a nine of pentacles energy, which means this is you becoming very independent, Cancer, emotionally independent, where you are making yourself happy and not relying on others, financially independent, where you are no longer complaining about being broke, but, you know, just swimming in money. This is the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles as a pair is where it's at, baby. This is you ascending in life in general. This is you not needing anybody. This is you being on top. This is you being happy. This is you being mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically filled with joy, prosperity, and you know, just you're alone though. You know, with that nine of pentacles, I don't see you surrounded by a bunch of people, Cancer, okay? You know, whoever it is that you have been dealing with, um, they may end up getting left behind, whether that's a friend group, a family group, whether that's exes that you've been on and off with forever. Uh, this is you going down this road alone, and it is going to be prosperous, prosperous, okay? Tell me about this uh, five of pentacles here for Cancer. We've got the five of cups. Yeah, you've got these people feeling left out in the cold, uh, feeling sad, feeling depressed, feeling upset because with the three of cups and the seven of wands, you don't have time to meet up with these people. You don't have time to go out and party anymore. You don't have time to uh, keep reconciling with the same ex that's like beating a dead horse. You don't got time for this shit with the seven of wands. With the page of swords and the three of swords, these people are watching you move on and glow up and they are shattered. 
they are shattered because cancer what you bring to people's lives is a very nurturing energy you're a, probably an empath where you tend to absorb people's problems onto yourself so you may not know this about yourself cancer but people may feel better just by being around you like if a friend or whatever comes and talks to you about their problems, you absorb all their bad energy and they find that when they're done with that conversation with you, they feel better. You feel drained. You feel tired. You feel upset. You're sitting here with your hand shaking and you can't focus and you, you've taken on all this negative energy because your best friend is uh, bitching about their partner or your coworker is bitching about the boss or your ex is begging for you. You're taking on all that negative energy. They feel better and you're over here like shaking like this, like, you know, so cancer that, you know, the, these people, they want your energy because you're very giving. You're giving with money, time, attention tension, love, and your energy. These are people that were sucking you dry and they've lost their, their source. They've lost, you know, that person that made them feel better and they're shattered because they're just watching you, you know, move on. Okay. They're just watching you do better, be better and leaving them behind. Tell me more about cancer. We've got the two of wands and the empress. Yeah. I mean, cancer, listen, life is all about choices. It, it really is. It's all about choices. You can look at yourself in the mirror and you can choose to say, I am beautifully and wonderfully made. Or you can look in the mirror and look at every single little flaw in your body. You can look at your checking account and you could say, okay, there's not a lot of money in there right now, but there will be. There will be. This is not going to be my life. God has not brought me this far to watch me fail. Do you understand? And you make it happen. You align yourself to receive. Life is all about perception. It's how you perceive every situation that has come to you. And you're making a choice to ascend here, Cancer. You're making a choice to sit in your highest power. You're making a choice to sit in Empress and Emperor energy, to manifest, to conquer, to take control, okay? Um, I feel like right now your masculine and feminine is very balanced, and I feel like you're operating from your highest vibration on both ends, Cancer. Okay, on both ends with the moon card and the justice card here, Cancer, what spirit wants to tell you is I'm proud of you for focusing on um, for focusing on listening to your guardians, for listening to your spirit guides, listening to your higher self. Because cancer, for a majority of your life, you may have been blocking that out. You may have known the answer to your problems, but didn't want to acknowledge it because that would involve cutting people out of your life, making the right decision, starting that healing process, okay? Listen, it's always easier. Cancer, one thing you have to admit, okay? We are all, not just cancers, all of us are fantastic at telling other people that they are narcissists, that they're living their life the wrong way, or that they mistreat people, or that that they're assholes or that they're bitches and whores and bastards. We have, we do an amazing job at pointing out the flaws of everyone else. Amazing. We are all fucking professional therapists and psychiatrists that we're able to analyze everyone around us. But one of the most difficult things that we do is look at ourselves and say, well, why do I deal with these assholes? Well, why do I put myself in a position to be dealing with any of this? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't understand when you're in a relationship with someone, you are one unit. You are one unit. So when you call the person that you are in love with a narcissist, an asshole, or this, or whatever, you're calling yourself that too. You're calling yourself that too. And cancer, that's what you're doing. You're saying, you know, I don't want to live like this anymore. I'm, I'm not an asshole. I'm not a narcissist. I'm not broke. I'm not any of these things. So I don't need to be associating with them. Do you understand cancer? So, you know, for the most part of your life, you knew the answer. You knew the answer. You just didn't want to acknowledge it. And with the justice card, you're giving spirit a fair shot. You're saying, okay, spirit. Okay, God. Okay, angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Okay. I hear you loud and clear. I'm going to listen to you. You know, when we all get to that point, when we're teenagers and we, we want to defy everything our parents tell us. And then that day comes where we're like, okay, I'm just going to do what mom and dad told me to do and see if it works and cancer, you're going to flourish. 
okay? You are going to flourish with the Queen of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Magician here. I feel like Cancer, the Queen of Pentacles is a, a card of stability, which means consistency every single day. If you start doing some form of magic or prayer or ritual on a daily basis, like maybe every day you light a tea candle and burn a bay leaf, or every day you sit down and call your power back to you. I call my power back to me. I call my money back to me. I call love back to me. I call healing back to me. If, if there's something here that you need to do every single day, say the Our Father every single day, cleanse yourself of sin, it's going to make you stronger. Every single day that you do it, Cancer, the more consistent you are with doing this, why do you think on this channel I practice gratitude every day and now I'm having you guys put affirmations in the comment section every day? Because we tend to wake up and we tend to forget. Many of my subscribers are very consistent with watching me every morning. I know I've been falling off a little bit. My life has been a little chaotic with the baby just being born, buddy passing away. Um, so I'm hoping that by next week we'll be back on schedule with 8.30 every morning. But Cancer, my point is I'm trying to get you guys into that routine of making sure that you write it down every day, okay? So, and I'm proud of you guys for doing it. You guys have done a beautiful job. The fact that my channel is filled with gratitude and affirmations, it just makes my heart so happy, okay? So guys, I mean, you have something big coming towards you. Just be prepared though, because people are not going to be clapping when you win, okay? They're not going to be able to follow you with where you're going. Okay, Cancer. And, you know, so there is a need to protect yourself. Expect some clapback from these people where they may get nasty with you, frustrated with you. They may try to distract you off your path. But, Cancer, that Ten of Swords there is just like you saying, listen, I'm busy. You could either accept that or not accept that. It's really not my fucking problem. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know what else to tell you. You could either wait until I have time to talk to you or you could catch an attitude and do you. But either way, I got to go. I got shit to do. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's what I got for you. I love you all so very much. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my darlings.